I've been trying to figure out my purpose for some time now. Okay, now that is a little different. That is your soul's purpose. Your soul's purpose is how you benefit from being here on this planet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, let me see if I have something in here. For Let's see if we can see it. The subconscious mind. The duty of the subconscious mind is to fulfill the desires of the conscious mind. And the purpose of the subconscious mind is to store the understandings built through the experiences of the conscious mind. So, our conscious mind, were you always a dreamer? Yeah, my whole life. My whole life. <laughs> I write about it in the first chapter of my, or the uh, intro of my book, Life is But a Dream. But anyways... Your life experiences, you you have these life experiences. Your conscious mind is creating your life experiences. Your subconscious mind is creating them based off your conscious mind. But the two are working together to have life experiences. And then you are learning from these life experiences. Like, what's a recent lesson that you all have learned? What's a recent life lesson that everyone's learned? That life has taught you? What's a recent life lesson that your recent experiences have taught you? Like for me, I'm understanding much deeper how energy flows where the attention goes. Learning that on a whole new level lately. Me too. I know I have gifts, but what I am supposed to be doing with them. Okay, I'm going to help you all out right now. What have you been learning from life? What life lessons have you all been learning lately or have had the opportunity to learn? Don't try to wake people who are asleep. You let them sleep, man. Let them get their sleep. They wake up on their own time and realize what's going on. <laughs> uh, so so Jeff's learning to tr don't try to wake people who are asleep. Procrastination is my biggest enemy. I recently learned that you can't control how other people think, act. Absolutely. The ability to connect with myself through the breath. Okay. So off of these life lessons, what do you have to understand? Like, for example, uh, don't try to wake people who are asleep. You know what I mean? Uh, acceptance. So through this life lesson, Jeff has an opportunity to understand what acceptance means. Accepting what is. Accepting that he has his life and they have theirs. Accepting that they are okay with being asleep. <laughs> Procrastination is my biggest enemy. So Twinkle Eyes has the opportunity to understand uh, uh, willpower, to understand dedication, to understand activity, initiation. You know what I mean? I recent, Frequency Rising says, I recently learned that you can't control how other people think. So that again, acceptance, allowance, understanding allowance. The ability to connect with myself through the breath. Okay. So chaos has the opportunity to understand connection. Understand centeredness. Understand unification. Understand the breath. Understand the spirit. Jesus is king. Okay. So you have to understand. You have the opportunity to understand who Jesus is. Your own human imagination. <laughs> so these, these life experiences that you have. There's something for you to receive. That's the receptive part of your soul's purpose. Something for you to receive. What do you what can you receive? Because like right up here, the purpose of the conscious mind is to learn from your life experiences and feed those understandings of self, life and the universe and creation to the subconscious mind to make a permanent part of yourself. Those understandings are the only thing that you can take with you. The only thing you can take with you. So. Experiences in order for you to learn from them so that you can understand who you are. Because you feed those into your soul that becomes a permanent part of yourself. Nothing else from this physical reality carries on with you when the body ceases to exist. So these understandings, this life lesson, that's your karma. 
People talk about karma like, oh, karma's a bitch. What goes around comes around. That's not karma. It doesn't have to go back around. If you can build the understanding, you know, if you did something to someone and you can build the understanding necessary without that thing having to happen back to you, uh, uh, Twinkle Eyes, you said you want to screenshot that. When you become a mentee or when you join the Discord chat, you're already a mentee. When you become, when you join the Discord chat, inside the resources, there will be a, a, a PDF called Structure of Mind. And all that was only one and a half slides. There's like six or seven slides in that PDF. You have you have you have that. So you don't need a screenshot. You'll have the whole PDF. But anyways, you will um, through having these experiences, you can build these understandings. Your karma is what you have to receive from life. These understandings that you are receiving, and then through all of these things that you understand, you you carry that with you forward with your soul. So everything you've learned in life from this lifetime and all the lifetimes you've lived before now and all of your past lives, you already have stored within your soul. It's your storehouse of wisdom that you tap into. That's the source of your intuition, how you can know things to be true without really knowing them, how you, how you can naturally understand what it means to be responsible even though no one taught you. You know what I mean? And so that's your... That also brings us to your dharma, which is the aggressive part of your soul's purpose. The understandings that you have built, the constellation of all of the understandings you have built throughout all of the lifetimes, by you just being connected with yourself, you will naturally exude these understandings for other people to learn from just by being around you. Like everybody, everybody who has a best friend, hopefully everybody in here has a best friend, all 38 people, what's the main quality you like in your best friend? What's the main quality you like in your best friend? Why, why do you like them being your best friend? What's the main quality you like in them that really drew you to want to really be their friend and not just be their friend, but be their best friend? I always use my dreams as a guide. Beautiful. Clap it up for Julie. Always use my dreams as a guide. Beautiful. That's what they should be used for. Can you explain how the timelines work? I'm, I have a couple videos on that. I'm not going to really get into that because it's... Um, <laughs> it's... it's May, okay, maybe I will after after this. I'll explain it to you. Chill. Okay. So that's their dharma. How understanding he is. Okay. So that's his dharma. Th through being connected with himself, he doesn't have to he doesn't have to sit there and say, Dianara, I'm gonna teach you how to be understanding. No, he's just himself, and you can receive from him. That's what he has to give to those in his environment. Her personality, I am she. What about her personality? What about her personality? His compassion and he is protective. Okay, Capri. So they're compassion, right? So he's just a comp naturally a compassionate person. He doesn't have to choose to be compassionate. He just is. That's part of his dharma, right? My closest friend is very organized and purposeful. Okay, that's part of their dharma. That's what they have. So you, So all of these things, you all can learn from them. She's very spunky. Okay, you can learn to be spunky. You can learn to be organized. You can learn to be compassionate just by being around them and watching them, right? You probably already have learned those things for yourself. I know my best friends, I'm learning from them all the time. And then understanding these things, I'm learning at a much more rapid pace than before that. But what would your best friend say about you? What is the quality that your best friend would say about you? Everybody put that in the chat. Meows or share the live. They're going to follow. Everybody put that in the chat. What would your best friend say about you? What is the main quality that they would say about you as to why they chose you as their best friend? Every I, I need all 43 people to do this now. You might not have commented before. You might be on the outside watching. Come, come jump in here and put what quality does your best friend see in you as to why they chose you to be their best friend? How kind I am. What makes you so kind, Dianara? What about you makes you so kind? That I'm one of the smartest people they know. <laughs> what about your intelligence? Naturally funny and outgoing. Okay, so that's more like lightheartedness. I'm always the one she calls on when she's going through something good or bad. So reliable. You're reliable. You understand being reliable. That I'm very purpose-driven. Okay, driven and purposeful nurturing and willing to learn. She tells me I'm very intelligent and insightful, insightful. That's probably the part of the intelligence that they like, the insightfulness. 
Very understanding of others and their emotions. Beautiful. That I always give great unbiased advice. Beautiful. Beautiful. So uh, objective perspective. Your perspective thinks I'm smart. Okay, cat. Cat's in a building. Another mentee in a building. Cat. So what? What about what? What about your intelligence or smartness is is the most attractive? I'm firm but fair and open, kind, loving, compassionate. My intelligence. I'm emotionally reliable. Okay. Everything that y'all are commenting, that is your purpose. That is your soul purpose. That is your soul's purpose. These are things that you've spent lifetimes building these understandings. You don't have to consciously choose to be empathic. You don't have to consciously choose to do those things. You naturally exude it just by, and the more, the more connected you are with your inner self, the more connected you are with your own soul and your own spirit, then the more it will come out and exude from your being, the more it will resonate from your essence, the more it will radiate from your presence. And so that's the other half of your soul's purpose. That's what you have to give. That's the aggressive. You know what I mean? 18,000 likes. <laughs> wow, beautiful, beautiful. I appreciate it, y'all. So that's what you have to give. And the life lessons that you are learning, the under, those same type of understandings are what you have to receive. You know what I mean? So when, a life, when, when life gets difficult and it's problematic, look at what it is it's showing you to oper have an opportunity to learn. You know what I mean? If you broke, if life keeps on get, teaching you how to be, you know, if life keeps on reflecting back to you a broke experience, you know what I mean? Then identify, okay, life is pushing me to learn how to be creative, how to be a creator how to create something greater for myself. I need to understand creation. I need to understand manifestation. I need to understand abundance. I need to understand prosperity. I need to understand interconnectedness. I need to understand relativity. You know what I mean? Look at what, what you have to receive. That hit me. Good, good. That's your soul's purpose as well. Because not only have you built your soul up with these understandings, there's more understandings here to build, be built. What? Uh, here, here's one thing I want everyone to do. I say I'm a me I'm a mentor, and I don't ever tell people to do things, but I want everybody in here to do this. Okay? I want you. This this was a, a technique that I gave in the in the visualization course. So, um, uh, I want I want everyone tonight to write down the conditions of their birth. Write down the conditions of your birth. Write down, you know, where you were born, what city you were born in, what time period you were born in, what was the political landscape of that time period, what was the social landscape of that time period, what was the economic landscape of that time period, what was the economic landscape of your family, you know what I mean? Were both your parents around? Who were your parents? You know, what were your parents like? What were their signs? What's your zodiac sign? What's your family like, your immediate family? How many brothers and sisters do you have? How many came before you? How many came after you? You know what I mean? What's, what's your race? What's your ethnicity? Um, what, um, you know what I mean? What experiences happened in the first five, six, seven years of your life? Write down all of these conditions, every condition you can think of, how much you weighed, what the weather was like, the day of the week, you know what I mean? You were born, all of that. What was, were both parents there? Was one parent not? Were neither parents there? You know what I mean? Did your parents pass away when you were two? You know, and you went and lived with your grandparents. Maybe you're an orphan. Maybe you maybe you were adopted when you were born. You know what I mean? What what other conditions were uh Dark Matters 360 shared the live? They gotta follow. What other conditions? Was it a C section when you were born? Were you uh were you coming out feet first and they had to flip you around? Were you not coming out? You know what I mean? You was holding on to the walls, they had to send the forceps in and pull you out. You know what I mean? Were you born with the umbilical cord uh, wrapped around your neck? Um, you know, what were all of these conditions of your birth? Were you a water birth, at home birth, in the hospital, in the car on the way to the hospital? You know what I mean? In the ambulance on the way to the hospital. Were there any complications when you were born? They had to come back and save your life? Or was it very smooth and you just slid out and was ready to be here? You know what I mean? What were all of these conditions of your birth? What was the pregnancy time period like? You know what I mean? Did, you, did your mother consider having an abortion or did they love, open and welcome it with open arms? You know what I mean? Write down all of these conditions of your birth. Nina shared the live. They get a follow. Appreciate it. Write down all of these conditions of your birth. Write down all of them. Okay? As many as you can think of until you can't think of a single thing more to write down. 
You know I mean, like I can't think of a single thing more to give you as an example. <laughs> so write all of those things down and then look at it, have an objective perspective and be like, okay, if my sole purpose is to take the, the soul and have all the understandings that I've built up and give and share that to the world and teach other people just by being around me. And then if my other sole purpose is to receive and add more understandings into my soul through the life experiences that I've had, then what would, what would these conditions be setting me up for? What would I have the opportunity to learn if I, if I chose as a soul to be born into that life? You know, be very objective. Don't be subjective and stuck in the middle of it. Remove yourself from it. And just as a random soul, why would a random soul choose those experiences? What things could a random soul learn and understand about themselves? With the memory class, could you remember all that? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, you can remember all that. Absolutely. With the memory exercise. But you want to do it for, you know, like 90 days or so before you start going backwards. So do the five-day, five-step for like 90 days. Jeff is one of the mentees. And so there's a, uh, there's a memory exercise that I have in a PDF, and he's asking about that because I just told him the other day uh, to, to, go and, to go and do that uh, exercise. And then was talking to him about other things you can do because you can, you can not only like increase your memory, but you can start going back and remember, you know, you can remember your birth. You can remember being in the womb. You can remember what's going on before you were born. And when you were game planning all of these things, all of these conditions, you can remember what was going on in your past life and past lives before that.